March 8th, 2022 First week of Lent God's word could create the world. It can also recreate human hearts that have run into ruin, like raindrops that brings life to dying plants. Divine words bring new energy to drooping spirits. It is a great privilege to listen to God's word. The quality and effectiveness of our prayer depends our inner dispositions and attitude of the heart. Words are not necessary, although words do matter in communication. Jesus has given us the privilege to call God his Father. As our Father, then we become his children or sons and daughters. So do we need to plead for favors in front of God? We need not speak too much in order to be misunderstood. Because he knows all of us and our needs, sometimes words get in the way and could be misunderstood. The most refined communication is a heart speaking to another heart. Jesus teaches us to pray from the heart. The only prayer Jesus taught us is the Lord's Prayer. We rattle it off, not knowing the meaning. Quote, If you forgive others their wrongdoings, your Father in heaven will forgive you. Unquote. Think of all those who are deeply hurt. Example, innocent lives killed people been massacred and even in our own experience it is not easy to forgive who have caused us troubles and sufferings and hurted us as humans we want to retort back but as christians jesus tells us to forgive jesus offered himself on the cross to obtain forgiveness for our sins and embrace our suffering so that we may be saved. Jesus shows the way to the Father and is inviting us to be a part of that forgiving relationship. Our faith tells us there is hope. Prayer teaches us to glorify the Lord in heaven. Seek help for our daily needs. Live in love, friendship, with our neighbors and stay away from evil forgiveness that we offers to others wins us the divine forgiveness that we long for god bless you